This is just a uh, quick overview of the um, Pangolin Laser Show Designer Quick Show software. Um, this software was recently released for as a free upgrade for current Flashback 3 users and um, it's a pretty big step up from the included software. Um, basically it works in pages with queues on it. So you've got all these queues in here and these tabs up the top so you've got all your people and characters, sports vehicles and all that. And also you have um, these for your beams and all those effects that you do through the air as you do with lasers. But you also have a uh, DMX tab and I guess you just I think it may have support for external DMX hardware but basically if you go into graphics just choose any animation over here you can't really see it, just turn up the brightness you have a preview window at the moment it's actually got some um, quick effects going. Let's turn that off for now. That's another really neat feature. You can just select any animation you want and then just apply an effect right there. Um, so up here you've got your standard blackout pause and enable buttons. Um, your sizes, position, rotation, color and playback. Um, one really neat feature I found is that while it's playing you actually have down there the frames per second meter and this can tell you if your um, animation is running too slowly and if it's really flickering and probably not good to look at from the crowd's point of view so um, another cool thing is they've got all these tabs down here it's a quick text, you can just type in some text choose an animation and click show it now probably blurred but it's going over the top of that other animation like stack cues um, so blackout you can just have it apply that you know choose animation and it also has a, uh, a quick shape so you can choose that you can adjust the amount of points in it so if you choose something like the star here you've got that if you bring up the amount of points it scans faster but if you use something like this bringing up the amount of points you can also change the shape of the pattern you can get some really cool effects with that go over there um, you have quick trace you can import an image and it just and it traces it so just a random image that's included automatically traces it that's a really cool feature if you need to do logos and stuff on the fly. You also have a uh, timeline. Um, that's a new feature for the live software. You can make up a quick show to some music and just while you're at it. Quick capture. If you want to save a cue how it is, you can just click something and whatever's playing, if you click capture, you capture those the current animation that's playing and I believe you can just drag those into the queues um, but yeah you have I think it's up to 32 pages of tabs of um, I think there's 60 per page queues <coughs> um, also up here you have the beats per minute you can you click this to the beat and the music and then you can go into like the animations uh, Q properties, image, beat based animation and it'll go to whatever beats per minute you've got it set up. Yeah. Um, some of this stuff I haven't quite worked out yet but I guess I'll get to that. You've also got your projector settings so you can adjust the size and your color things, all the standard stuff there. Um, up here another cool feature is the clock editor and you've also got all the text and frame animation editors. Um, so you can make your clocks, digital clock, 
countdowns and anything like that. Um, abstract editor. It's pretty much the same as the quick shape, it's just a little more detailed, so you know, points, dots, whatever you want to do. I'll probably do another uh, another overview on this once I've learnt a bit more of the stuff, but this is just really for people that um, you know, want to know what the software's like. Um, one thing I've also noticed with this is it has the um, attenuation map where you can like select areas that you want the laser to be dimmer and this is good for things such as you know crowd scanning and where there might be mirrors and in your venue. Um, I haven't quite figured out how to use this yet but I'm sure one day you, know, you can set the percentage output. And yeah so I'll probably do another software has a load more features that I can um, show in this video but I haven't quite learnt them all yet so I'll um go through and do some more but if you have an FP3 and you want to check it out just go to the website click on the what's new and there's a link I think on the first first one up and you can just click on that and download it it's a free upgrade um, I don't think they've released I think it only works with the FP3 you bought from Pangolin themselves I think there's other versions of it but I don't know you'll have to contact them about that but yeah pretty cool piece of software and I'll do some more reviews on it later. Thanks for watching.